I always get asked shoe questions and because it's that time of year, I thought I would get my canvas kicks on, these are my Toms, and answer some of your questions. I cleaned them a lot last year, but toward the end of the summer, kind of let that fall by the wayside. So now that the season's back, they need a cleaning. And it's pretty easy to do. All we're gonna use is your washing machine and some stuff you already have lying around the house. Stick around and I'll show you how. According to the Tom's website, we highly recommend hand washing Tom's in cold water with a gentle detergent and let them air dry. We do not recommend putting Toms in the dryer under any circumstances. While hand washing would do the job, I'd like to show you how to save some time. But you have to be careful while you're doing this, people. If you throw caution to the wind, you could disfigure the shoe and also ruin the adhesion. And that will make you sad. Now I agree with the part about not putting them in the dryer, but they never said anything about putting them in the washing machine. Now this tip will work for any kind of canvas shoe, whether it's Tom's, Keds, or anything else that you have, and whether it's just this canvas, or whether it's corduroy or something sparkly, this is still going to work. Here's what you'll need. A washing machine. Dirty canvas shoes. Mwah. A small brush. A toothbrush works perfectly. Baking soda. Gentle detergent. A cleaning rag. And a bowl of water. To start, take your cleaning toothbrush and gently brush any of the dirt and debris off the shoe. This will help remove any of that surface dirt that might get stuck in the shoe and make for a more difficult wash. Spending a couple of minutes doing this will really help. If you do have any major stains on your shoes, you can pick up a laundry stain remover. And all I would recommend is just testing it on a small area before you actually treat the stain, like perhaps an area over here. If it's okay and it doesn't bleach, by all means, pre-treat your stain, and then continue. Now I had to dump out some of this water because we are making a paste of 50-50 baking soda and water to clean the soles of our shoes. Now this isn't gonna get rid of all of the stuff on the bottom of your shoes, but it's gonna give you a great head start. Check it out. And now it's time for your washing machine to do the rest. Using cold water, we're going to run a gentle cycle. Let the tub fill to a quarter full, and then add a bit of gentle detergent and pour it into the wash. Once the tub is filled three quarters full, we're going to place our shoes in the washing machine for the duration of the cycle. After the cycle is done, your shoe should be looking much more presentable. We're then going to leave the shoes outside to dry, to air dry. That's right, air dry. Not over the vents, not in the dryer. Put them on your back porch and let the sun do its thing. If you don't heed this warning, you'll have shrunken, shriveled shoes. If you do heed this warning, your shoes will look marvelous. Now that your shoes look great, keep them smelling great by using a shoe powder. They absorb odor and moisture. If you want to make your own, I made you a video so you can just click right there and check it out. If you want to buy some, the one I like is Dr. Scholl's. Look how clean my shoes are. 24 hours later and they look great. All it takes is a little bit of laundry, a little bit of patience, and your shoes can look amazing too. Don't forget to share the video on Twitter or Facebook if you found it helpful. It really helps us out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any cleaning questions or comments, drop them in the box below. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook. And for more of our great cleaning videos, hit the button above to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.